Hi, hello! Good day to everyone. Okay, so this time we're going to have our discussion all about units, how to convert units of measure of length. And this involves metric and English system. So please stay tuned and keep on watching. Hello! Okay, so um, for today we are going to have measures of land and we are going to convert one unit into another unit of measures. So that's our objective for today. Um, metric and involving metric and English system. Right, so let's have the metric system first. The idea behind the metric system is to start with the base unit, okay? And the use and the use of standard prefixes to make other units that are maybe bigger or smaller than the base unit by powers of 10. Here's a list of those a sum of the prefixes that we have. We have the kilo, hecto, Deca, Deci, Centi, and Milli. And as we talk about measures of length, the key unit in here is meter. Meter is used when we talk about distance or length. So, ang basic unit daw natin for length is a meter. And when we say meter, of course, ang standard uh, measuring device natin is the meter stick. If you are, re I know you are really very familiar with meter stick. So, isipin nyo lang yung uh, length or haba ng meter stick na yun. That is a 1 meter long. Okay? So, now let us proceed. Um, since we are going to convert one unit of measure of length into another unit so meter ang basic unit natin and if we are going to take a look at back again and add the prefixes prefixes I mean <laughs> that we have we have the kilo, hecto, deca, deci, centi, and milli so pag dinagdag natin itong mga prefixes na to makakabuo tayo ng mga panibagong unit which are maybe bigger and that are smaller so Decameter is 10 times larger than the meter. And hectometer is 100 times larger than the meter. And if we have a kilo, so therefore we're going to have kilometer, it is one times 1,000 times larger than the meter. So, mas, yung mga units natin na nasa taas, which is kilometer, hectometer, and decameter, are larger or bigger units compared to meter while the units below are the units that are is smaller so let's see if we have deci so we're going to have decimeter which is 10 times is smaller than the meter if we have centi therefore we are going to have centimeter which is 100 times is smaller than the meter and if we have a milli, therefore, we're going to have millimeter, which is 1,000 times smaller than the meter. So, ito na yung mga units natin for metric system about length. And these are abbreviated. Kilometer is abbreviated as km. Hectometer is abbreviated as hm. Decameter is abbreviated as dam. And meter as m. Decimeter DM, centimeter CM, millimeter is MM. Okay, so, um, however, what we're going to have today will be, I will just only, um, we'll just only convert those commonly used units under length. So, here are the commonly used units for length. We have the kilometer, or KM, meter, centimeter or cm and millimeter or mm which is abbreviated okay so here are the commonly used units for length the rest um hindi na tayo masyadong mako-convert noon but it is really very important that you know um what are those uh 
units. And also, dapat alam din ninyo kung ano yung mga prefixes na mga ginamit because for our next um, lesson all about mass and to the other physical, uh, I mean, measures of uh, quantities, um, gagamitin din tong mga prefixes na to. So, it is really very important that you are really very familiar with these prefixes. Okay, so back again to the different units that we have. Kilometer, hectometer, decameter, meter, decimeter, centimeter, and millimeters. Alright, so ipapabiligtad ko lang siya ng konti ha. Okay, itutwist ko lang ng konti because what we're going to have today is that syempre mag-convert na nga tayo. And how do we convert? Now, I'm going to put different numbers here inside the pink box. And titignan natin kung paano pa talaga mag Bird. Now, let's say I have here 1 kilometer. This 1 kilometer is just the same as 1,000 meters. Okay? So, yung 1 kilometer daw kanina, parehas lang siya sa 1,000 meters. And, if I have 1 millimeter, this 1 millimeter here is just the same as 0 .01, 0 0.001 meters. Okay? So, magkaparehas lang daw silang dalawa. Ganun ang pag-convert. Kung baga, parang uh, binabago natin yung unit. Pero sa pagbabago natin ng unit, as we go to the uh, right, the number is increasing. Okay? I mean, I mean, no, not increasing. Kung baga, as we go to the right, we are going to divide and as we go to the left, we are going to multiply. Kasi, bakit? Um, yung unit natin to the right are small. Kung bagay, maliliit yung unit natin to the right. And, yung mga units natin to the left of meter is uh, malalaki. Kaya, we are supposed to multiply. And, ganito na lang. Parang hindi tayo masyadong mahirapan. Alright? One move one move to the right is times 10 and one move to the left is divided by 10. Alright? Or, simply, ang gawin natin is just i-move na lang natin yung decimal point. Okay? Basta, one move to the right. So, if we have here 2.345 kilometer and if we're going to convert it to hectometer, we are supposed to multiply this whole number, I mean this number, by 10. Or, syempre, um, time consuming pa yung <laughs> mag-multiply tayo, what we're going to do is just to simply uh, move the decimal point. And one move to the decimal point means times 10. Therefore, yung 2.345 natin kanina na kilometer is just the same as 23.45 hectometer, which is also the same as 20, I mean, 234, 234.5 decameters. Going to the right means we are going to multiply by 10. One move to the right is by 10. So, if we are going to move from kilometer to meter, ilang times 10 yon. So, times 10, times 10, times 10. Depende kung hanggang saan pinakoconvert sa'yo. Now, if I have, let's say, for example, I have 3.2 centimeter and you are told to convert this to decimeter therefore we're going to move the decimal point here this is equal to 0 0.32 mag-aad tayo ng 0 to the left okay 0 0.32 decimeter and if you are also told told to convert the 3.2 centimeter into meter therefore another move to the left and then add 0, that is equal to 0 0.032 meters. So, a move to the left means that you are going to divide by 10. Or, uh, a, move to, a move to the left. So, kung nagko-convert kayo from millimeter papunta sa kilometer, therefore, madaming divide ang gagawin mo dyan. Now, since um, ang kailangan natin ay mabilis, so sa mabilis na paraan, what we're going to have will be uh, moving the decimal point using the, the ladder method na. Kumbaga, 
gagamit na tayo ng metric converter. Kasi kung hindi tayo gagamit ng metric converter, masyado tayo magtatagal. Okay? But, it is really very important na dapat alam ninyo kung kailan tayo magta-times at alam nyo kung kailan tayo dapat magtitipay. Okay? So, kanina present ko naman kung ano yung mga dapat ninyong i-times at saka i-divide. Now, let's have the following examples. Number one, if I have three kilometers, this is equal to how many meters? Okay? Km is kilometer, m is meter. Using the metric converter, so this will be our metric converter, our basic unit for length is m or meter. To the left of m are larger or bigger units, kilometer, hectometer, hectometer, and decameter. To the right of m are smaller units, decimeter, centimeter, and meter. Always remember that in converting, you have to know where you are going to start. Your starting unit is km. That is your kilometer. So, dyan na tayo magsisimula sa pag-convert. Mali, ang gagawin kasi talaga natin ngayon ay imumove na lang natin talaga yung decimal point. And our ending unit, ito yung pinapahanap sa atin na unit. Hanapin natin yan kung nasan yan sa metric converter natin. Ayan yan. And then after, after, uh, after ninyo mahanap kung ano yung mga, kung saan ka magsisimula at kung saan ka magtatapos, you just have to count the steps from your starting point up to your ending point. Your start, starting point is KM, so that is an, one move to the right, another move, so pangalawa na, and another move, so pangatlo na. So, we're going to move the decimal point three times to the right. So, that would mean that if we have three, and you know pretty well that three has no, you cannot see a decimal point that, uh, however, um, however, dapat alam ninyo na wala, kung wala kayong nakitang decimal point, it has always a decimal point right after the three. So, nandito ang decimal point niya. Nakita nyo naman, ba? What you're going to do is just, katulad na ginawa natin sa metric converter natin, you just move the decimal point three times also to the right. And then, maglagay tayo ng zero dun sa mga uh, blanko na yon. And then, tanggalin natin yung decimal point dito, ilipat natin dito. Therefore, that will be our final answer. Yun ang ilalagay natin dito sa taas. And you may wonder, ma'am, bakit po nawala na yung decimal point natin? Remember, last time I already told you that kapag ka naglipat tayo ng decimal point and it so happened na ang decimal point ay nalipat natin dito sa dulo, you don't need to write it anymore. Okay? So, our answer is 3,000. Alright? Okay, so let us have another example. If I have 5,250.26 mm millimeter, this is equal to how many m or meters? So, using the metric converter that we have, our starting unit will be mm. So, dyan daw tayo magsisimula. So, here's our mm. And we're going to move to M. Okay, so there's our M. You will see that we are going to move the decimal point three times going to the left. And if that is the case, therefore, let's have our 5,250.26. Your point here is, kitang-kita mo talaga kung nasaan yung point mo. Okay, so there's your point and you just move the decimal point also 3 times going to the left. So, kung ilang beses kang nag-move dito sa metric converter natin, ganun din dito sa number natin. You will just only move the decimal point 3 times also going to the left. So, mawawala si decimal point dito, malilipat si decimal point dito. Therefore, your final answer is 5,250. Okay, wait. Okay, so your final answer will be 5.25026. So, that will be your final answer. Okay? So, now let us convert units of measure involving English system. So, ano, -ano bang meron sa English system natin? For English system, it is very important you are really familiar with the following units. 1 inch is equal to 2.54 centimeters. 1 foot is equal to 30.5 centimeters. 1 yard is equal to 0.914 meters. Or 
um, it is also equal to 91.4 centimeters. One mile is equal to 1.61 kilometer. One centimeter is equal to 0.4 inches. 0.4 inch. One meter is equal to 39.4 inch, which is also equal to 3.28 feet, which is also equal to 1.1 yards. One kilometer is equal to 0.62 miles. So, importante na dapat alam nyo itong uh, metric conversion natin kasi ito yung magiging pasihan natin uh, sa pag-convert natin. So, this time, hindi tayo gagamit ng metric converter kasi um, this involves English system and we do really have to multiply and divide. Okay, so to understand better, let's have the following examples. I have here a pencil. The length of this pencil is in 5 inches. And you are told to convert it into centimeters. How are you going to convert it? Of course, it is really very important na dapat alam niyo yung metric converter, conversion natin kanina. Yung table natin kanina. Sinabi doon kanina na 1 inch daw ay equal sa 2.54 cm. Bakit ito yung ginamit natin? Kasi you are told to convert 5 inches into cm. So hanapin mo lang yung magkaparehas na unit, inches and cm. Pag nahanap mo na, what you're going to do next is to uh, i-convert na natin. Kung baga magsusolve na tayo. Kung ang 1 inch daw ay equal sa 2.54 cm, paano kung meron kang 5 inches? ba? So, ano lang ang gagawin mo? You are going to multiply this 5 inches by the converter natin na ang 1 inch daw ay equivalent sa 2.54. So, therefore, mag-multiply lang tayo. Okay? Yung 5, i-multiply natin sa 2.54. So, we are going to have what? We're going to have 12.7 centimeters. And that is already our final answer. Ibig sabihin, etong pencil na to, which is 5 inches, is also the same as 12.7 centimeters. Ibig sabihin, yung haba ng pencil na to ay 12.7 centimeters din. Okay, so let's have another example. Hi! Hello! It's me! <laughs> it's me, your teacher is Matt. I am 1.53 meters in height. So, yan yung task ko or tangkad ko, di ba? Kaya pang Miss Universe ba kaya ang height ko? Check natin! Alright, so convert my height into feet. If I am 1.53 meters, uh, meters, and that's my height, convert it into feet. Okay. Kung lalangoy ba ako sa uh, sa swimming pool na na ang lalim ng swimming pool ay 10 feet, palagayin nyo kaya? Nalulunod ako o hindi? Lalo na kung hindi ako marunong lumangoy. <laughs> Let's see. Sinabi kanina na ang 1 meter daw is equal to 3.28 feet. And, and, um, to convert this, syempre, kung ang 1 meter ay 3.28 feet, gumamit tayo ng calculator para mabilis tayo. So, bring down 1.53, i-multiply daw natin siya sa 3.28. Okay? So, multiplying 1.53 by 3.28, that is equal to 5.0184 feet. So, kung lalangoy ako sa swimming pool na ang dalim ay 10 feet at hindi ako marunong lumangoy, syempre, malulunod ako kasi ang height ko ay 5 feet lang. Ibig sabihin, uh, di ba sabi natin sa English system, 1 foot is equivalent to 12 inches or kasing haba siya ng ruler. So, kung ang 1 foot ay 1 ruler, ibig sabihin, ang height ko ay kasing taas lang ng limang pinagdugtong-dugtong na ruler. Okay? So, um, that will be all. I hope you learned a lot in this lesson. See you in the next one. Bye-bye!